Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the next seven days. Oh, we had a card that went flying, and it is way, way, way over there. Oh, I think I can get it with my flop. It's on the other side of the table. I got it. Are you ready? We had two cards come out. One hit the ground way over there. This is the one. Oh, interesting. And it landed way over there. Wedge. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want. And it's interesting that I had to I had to I had to maneuver to get this car because there was stuff in the way. There was a bunch of the lamp was in the way, the legs were in the way. There's no way. I mean I would have to get on my hands and knees. But anyhow, um wedge. And it was it's that's crazy. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want. So somebody's trying to stop you from getting what you want. What's this one? Oh, we got two. These fell out too. Beetle. Good fortune. So fortune is on your side. Ooh. Tiger. Doing something risky. Taking a chance. So you're going to be, you're being called to do something risky. Okay. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want. Mm. Oh, what a mess. What a mess. Now the garbage can is, is, I had to move it. What a mess. And remember, every word that comes out of my mouth is part of this reading. So this is messy. It is messy. All right. Things are off. Things are definitely off. Something is off. Something is definitely off. What do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Luck is on your side. Looks like a piece of cake to me. This may be a piece of cake for you. Ooh. Independently owned and operated. So, independently owned and operated. Some of you may be starting your own business or you're going to be, or you're single, you know, or you're very, very independently owned and operated in some way. For some of you, this is about becoming I think it's becoming, or you already are. You're very independently, I feel like that's you already are. You're very independently owned and operated. If you are in a committed relationship, you may be becoming independently owned and operated. Or you could just be starting your own business. You could also be dealing with somebody that is independently owned and operated. It may not be you. This could be a business owner of some sort or somebody that is very, very independent and single that isn't looking for any type of commitment. Oh, let's see what we got. Maybe you're choosing that. Maybe you're not looking for a commitment. Maybe you're just focusing on yourself. Pay attention to your dreams, Capricorn. Pay, pay attention to your dreams. Now, this is two meanings. Pay attention to your lifelong dreams. Pay attention to your... You know, what you always dreamed of having, right? But also pay attention to your daydreams and your night dreams because they have messages for you. So even in your daydreams, pay attention to your dreams. Your thoughts, you know, if it's a daydream, your thoughts, they're, they're telling you something. That's your intuition speaking to you. If it's at night and you have a dream and you and you can remember any part of it, there is a message in whatever it is that you remember. So really, really, really pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to your lifelong dreams as well. Do not let this person hold you back from those dreams. 
darn thing isn't standing up tall. You need to stand up tall by the looks of things. Crooked. You may be dealing with somebody that's crooked. One more card for Capricorn. Ooh, time out. Cut, cut. Time out. We may also be dealing with somebody that, you know, their name begins with T. Or they have a T in their name. I see T here, but this is time out. Cut, cut, cut. You may need to cut somebody out. You may need to take a time out. You may need to, uh, that's cut to me. Cut somebody out. Cut them out. Look deeper. Something is hidden. Something is hidden. There's something you're not seeing. You're dealing with a very shady individual. Ooh, this one just fell off the deck. Blank slate starting from scratch. Blank canvas. You are in a position where you're going to be starting from scratch. This is writing a whole new story, creating a new life, creating a new picture, creating, creating your, ma your masterpiece. So I do feel like you are in a, this is like the fool kind of, it's like a, a complete blank slate. It is, it's a blank slate. It's, it's, it's. You have, you have, you write the story, you create whatever you want from here. So you are in a position where you are probably creating a whole new life, creating a whole new picture of where you want to go and who you want to be and what your dreams even look like at this time. I think we're going to use this deck over here. No, I don't think so. Hold on. I think we're going to use a different deck. I think we're going to use this one. Yeah, okay. All right. No, I don't know. Well, maybe. Okay, I guess so. I guess we're going to use this one. We've got the Hero Front and the Six of Pentacles reverse. There's a higher power involved here. There's a higher power that is guiding you. Okay, you there's been some sort of unfair treatment. You haven't been getting you. I didn't get what you deserve. There's been an abuse of generosity, generosity, or even a theft. You know what goes around karma. Uh, what go, you know whatever comes out of my mouth comes out of my mouth, and it feels like I wanted to say karma, and I don't know where karma came from. But what goes around comes around with the Six of Pentacles reverse. There's a higher power involved here. If you've been a good person, there's nothing to worry about. Okay, um, King of. Uh, of. Boy, it is Mercury retrograde, isn't it? Um, Hierophant, higher power, God. Uh, somebody here has a direct connection to God. There's a higher power involved. Believe it. Have faith. Have faith and trust that you are protected. You are protected. Um, there's guidance here. There's divine guidance. I feel like you're being divinely guided. There's been some sort of unfair treatment. Um, there's somebody has abused you. They've abused your generosity. They've abused your, their power on you. Higher power sees all. Okay, they see all. So just remember that. Okay, the higher power sees all. I do believe that you're learning some sort of lesson. Okay, maybe you're, maybe you're becoming more directly connected with God. Everything happens for a reason. Maybe you were rejected or uh, taken advantage of be to uh, strengthen your bond with a higher power okay just saying um to enhance your gift your gut your intuition because this is a card of gut it really is your commitment your commitment to you know god but anyhow this is a this is about faith this is about faith and trust and a need to believe in yourself listen to your gut Commit. It's about commitment. It's about committing yourself to your higher path. Um, just know that you are protected. I feel like there is somebody here that is trying to take something from you. I don't know if it's money or whatever it is. Or if something has already been taken from you. It all happened for a reason. Um, this is like... 
not receiving, not getting what you deserve. But rejection is God's protection. Rejection is God's protection. I mean, that's what that is, okay? Six pentacles is rejection, and that is a higher power, which is a God. Okay? Rejection is God's protection. So I don't know if you're being rejected for a position or you've been rejected for whatever this position is. Have faith and trust that it all happened for a reason. Oh, we almost forgot we need one of these. How? What a mess. This is definitely a mess. It seems like it's confusing. It's confusing. I think that you, maybe you're in a state of confusion. It's like, oh my God, how did this happen? You know, I thought this was going to work out. I thought this was the one. I thought this was, you know, my the commitment I was looking for. I thought, I thought it was going to work out. How did this happen? I feel like, I feel like it happened because you needed to learn some sort of lesson to enhance your spiritual growth. That's why it happened. The fool. Pretty funny that I said that blank slate was like the fool starting from scratch, starting a new journey. We have a new beginning here. This is also take a risk. And we had that tiger card, take a risk. This is a new phase. It's a new phase. This is acting on a whim. Stepping into uncharted territory. Just do it. Let go of your fear. Take a risk. You are going to have you have an opportunity to start a new life right now. Right now. And you see the paint? It's interesting that I said you get to paint your own picture. Look at the paint. So you have, you have the opportunity. You have the tools. You get to paint your own picture. You, you know? And there's tools in this card as well. This is exciting. The storm is over. You've been in a shitty situation with an individual who gave you some life experience. Now it's time to take that experience with you and step into new territory. Let go of your fear. Stop holding on. Take that life experience with you and follow your dreams and write that new story, write that new script, paint that new picture, create your new life. There could be some traveling here. Some of you may be traveling somewhere, could be even moving with the Fool card. Uncharted territory. That's, that's what the fool is. Stepping into new territory where you've never been. You know, and that may be like moving. That could be moving to, a, you know, a new ground. You know, stepping your feet on new ground. Taking, taking a chance. Doing something risky. This is about doing something risky. I feel like you have whatever skill it, that you need to do that. You know, if you're being held back because you don't think you have the skills, you can start over any place. You can take your skills with you and start over anywhere. There's God. There's a higher power involved here. It's like, and I feel like you've been ignoring. I feel like you've been ignoring your God. Interesting that I mentioned travel, moving. Getting in the driver's seat, taking a journey, going someplace, packing up, leaving. 
traveling. Some of you are going to be moving or you're going to be planning a move. This The chariot is about moving in a new direction. It's finding the mental willpower and the discipline and the determination to take, take charge and leave everything behind. The fool is leaving everything behind as well. It's not taking very much with you. Taking just what you need. Mostly the experiences and the lessons and starting over from scratch. So I feel like I feel like a lot of you are going to are starting over from scratch. You're you're going to be rebuilding, um, taking charge, taking charge, taking a journey. Some of you are, are traveling somewhere, traveling to a new destination. Moving is looks pretty prominent here. Um, you know, this could be have to do with your career as well. I feel like you have some sort of skills that. You can take with you and you can start over with these skills, even if it's painting. Maybe it's an art. Whatever it is, there's something that you can go with. You can run with it. Oh, the star card, upright. This is wish fulfillment. It's a card of hope and inspiration and renewal and blessings. This card comes after the tower. So this is unexpected help arriving after the tower has fallen. So you have had some major upheaval. You have had a major downfall or something crumbled really fast. You know, it was a false sense of security. It was a false foundation. Could have been a false relationship or, you know, something that was built uh, really fast. It wasn't built well, you know. When you build things too fast, they don't get built well. So I feel like you built a false sense of security with somebody. Um, without knowing what you were getting into perhaps or you know something happened that was beyond your control with the with the tower card there may have been you know a, a major event that that forced you to change your location or to change your circumstances your circumstances um there's there's some sort of change here because the tower has happened but the, the star card is a blessing in disguise. So there's some sort of blessing that is coming. You're about to be blessed. That is a card of protection as well. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Be proud of who you are. You're about to receive some sort of blessing. Or maybe you already have. Two of Cups. Two of Cups is, is a partnership. It's a union. It is... Uh, somebody that you have a lot in common with, shared values that you will see eye to eye with. This is what you asked for. It's wish fulfillment. You may be coming together with a perfect match. This is exactly who you asked for. Okay, it's a blessing in disguise after the tower has fallen with whatever this false sense of security is that you were engaged in. Okay, that crumbled for a reason. Now, you're, now your wish is going to be granted. Your wish will be granted and there will be success. But you have to replace your fear with faith. With the chariot and the fool card, you're going to have to take a risk. You do have a perfect match here, okay? But it's not in the past because the chariot leaves the past behind and the fool leaves the past behind, okay? This is brand new, brand new. That script is brand new. It's nobody from the past. This is not somebody from the past. It's not. It's not. This is a perfect match. So it's somebody that you have. This is like kindred spirits. You're on the same level. See the star in the middle. This is what you asked for. You're going to be maybe deepening a bond with somebody during this time. Could be. Um, it's unexpected. It is unexpected. Luck is on your side. This is what you prayed for. This is what you prayed for. Dreams, your dreams. This is what you this is what you always dreamed of. Hi, priestess. Could be dealing with somebody that is very gifted. Could be a tarot reader, empath, uh uh, medium, psychic. You may, you may have a gift. You may be very gifted. You're, you're intuitively gifted. Maybe you have a gift that, you know, you can take with you. This gift, this gift is going to bring you success because the star card is a card of success. It's guaranteed success. 
This is what you asked for. This is what you asked for. The high priestess is somebody that is generally, generally very independent, very self-sufficient, that chooses to be alone, that focuses on their spirituality. This is somebody that chooses typically to be alone because they're focused on, you know, healing and helping others and um, reflecting and observing. And this person generally keeps to themselves. You may be keeping to yourself right now, going through a period of enlightenment, healing, very healing with the star card. You may be dealing with somebody with the initials J or B. This is what you asked for. This is what you asked for. There's some sort of direct connection to source here. Your wish is being granted. Emperor. Emperor. Taking charge, taking control, putting plans in action. There is somebody here that is going to be putting plans in action. They are making a decision. They're intuitively guided. Somebody is intuitively guided. They have, they know, they know that this is what they asked for. This is a masculine energy. It's not a feminine. So if you are a man watching this and you want to take on that energy, I'm just saying this is a this is a this is a masculine that's taking charge. It's not a woman. I feel like we have a masculine that has made up his mind. This person has made up their mind. It's not the feminine. It's not. But I know how people want to make every reading for themselves, so they want to turn themselves into this person and that person to make it fit. No. Let's be real. We have somebody here that is about to... make a judgment call it's like they know that this is what they asked for and so they're going to be taking charge they're going to be taking taking the lead this is somebody that is ready they are ready they're ready to fight they're ready to fight for what they want i feel like you've been hoping and praying for wish fulfillment you've been hoping and praying for for something and your wish is going to be granted but it may not be in the way that you suspect okay because God or the higher power will answer your prayers how they how he sees fit not how you see fit rejection is God's protection right offer an offer or an invite is coming page of pentacles good news is arriving some of you may be dealing with a father figure that has i mean it could be a news of a child here maybe it's another child for some of you whatever is happening here there is some sort of good news that is coming some of you may be getting a uh well i can't think of the word for it. it's like an increase but i don't it maybe it's an increase of money but it could also be a title a change in position Okay, if, especially if you're a masculine watching this. And I know we got a lot of feminines. So like, oh, I'm a masculine now! Right? We have a masculine here that is in a top position. And he, or if he's not in a top position, he's going to get the top position. He's in position, okay? He's going to get the position, okay? He's, he's a worker. He's earned it. He's earned it. He's earned this title. Anyhow, page of wands, page of wands or is an offer or an invite that is coming. 
This is good news. Somebody may be bursting into your world. This is a new direction, okay? It's a new, going in a new direction. It is doing something unpredictable. You may be doing something unpredictable or you're dealing with somebody that's going to do something in unpredictable. But I feel like it's, it may, it may, you may not be able to predict it, but I feel like this person has been planning it. So that's pretty interesting. Um, I also feel like you know, you know that there's a suitor here. You may already know somebody. You may know somebody. This person, I don't know if there's a little bit of an age difference. There may or may not be an age difference. There's, it's def there's definitely a very beautiful energy here. There's nothing to worry about. Your wish is going to be granted. There is a new suitor here. There's a new suitor here that is better suited for you than whoever it was that rejected you. You're going to, I feel like you're going to be uh, surprised. I feel like you're going to be surprised. We have a masculine that is about to take action, which is interesting. This is a masculine, it's not a feminine. It's not. Taking charge. Going in a new direction. Has been intuitively guided to go in a new direction. It has been receiving the signs. This person is now going to be going wherever it is that they're going. I feel like there's something that you started some time ago that is coming to fruition now with that page of wands. Wheel of Fortune, end of a cycle, positive change of events, positive change in direction, wheel spinning you in a new direction. We also had that beetle, good fortune. So this is the end of a cycle for you. It is. This is the end of a chapter in your life. You are now about to go in a more positive direction. There's no doubt about it. You are going in a positive direction. We got no reversals. None. None. And that's like unheard of for my readings. It is. None. This is very positive. Very, 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 very positive. But you have to be willing to take a risk. And you have to be willing to step into unknown territory. And you have to be willing to start over from scratch. You have to be willing to create that new story. You have to let go of your fear. Chariot and the Fool. No fear. And the same with the, with the Emperor and the Page of Wands. No fear. 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 You have to let go of the fear. You have to have faith. The Star card is about faith and the Hierophant is about faith. You have to have faith. Have faith that the higher power is granting your wish in this way for a reason. That, they re that the rejection happened for a reason. You have a better suitor here that is better suited for you. Okay, but you got to stop making excuses and letting it because you're so afraid, right? Or because you haven't healed or whatever the case is. There's healing that is needed too. There could be a time out. This is a card of divine timing, okay? And everything happens for a purpose with the star card. There could be a time. I think there already has been a time, okay? But I feel like there still could be a time because time out, time out, time out. Time out with the with the with the little T that I had, you know, the time out, the cut. But then we have the fool right after that. It is time to go. It is time for this new beginning. It is time for you to start over. Okay? It's time for you to have faith. It's time for you to open up. It's time for you to take charge. It's time for you to start that new adventure. It's time for you to go. Stop wasting your time. Let go of fear. Just go. Just go. That chapter of your life is over. Considering Consider it a blessing that that didn't work out. Something more fortunate is coming your way, okay? I mean, this is, this is life is always changing. This is, this is karma. 
This is a karmic cycle that is coming to an end and something better is coming your way. So I have five cards and four of them are majors. So that means this is universally driven. Whatever has happened, we had the hero font as well. So add that one to it. Whatever has happened, whatever has happened, there was a higher power involved. It was out of your control. It was. So I'm not sure. We may even have a judge here that is making a decision, that is ordering something. May have something to do with a child. I mean, I'm just being honest. An emperor can be a judge. It could be a leader. It could be a boss. Somebody is, is sending somebody in a new direction, definitely. Could be, could be God. Um, Real fortune, change of events, positive. Very, 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 very positive. End of a cycle in your life. Life is always changing. Something better is coming your way, or it already has. But I feel like I feel like you've been ignoring it. But I think deep down, there's deep feelings. I feel feel like deep down, you know. It's like deep down, you know that you need to take action, that you need to take charge, that you need to get moving. Deep down, you know which way you need to go, but. Once you go in that direction, you can't go back. And I think that's what, the, what's what we got here. It's like once you step over the edge, once you step over the edge and you get yourself involved with whoever this other person is that you have a connection with, you can't go back. And I think that's part of the problem here. Some of you may also have, you know, a father figure that is going in a new direction. You know, we may have somebody here that is, you know, there's heaven here. I mean, the, the, the star card is a card of heaven. So maybe you're going to heaven, and I don't mean in, a, in a, that kind of way. I mean, like, this is heaven sent. This is a gift. Because the, the high priestess is a gift, and so isn't the, so isn't the uh, star card. So there's a gift here. Somebody is being given a gift it's heaven sent. It's come, It's definitely coming from above. Somebody has been sent a gift from above, whether it's even if it's just protection. It's time to go in that new direction. Seriously. It's time to get organized. Take charge of your life. Let go of your fear. Whatever is happening, it appears to be very, 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 very positive. Fortunate, fortunate. You're going to be starting over with somebody that is very well suited for you. Good luck.